A casual glance at the own banjo of today results in even the untrained eye recognizing a level of design and production excellence which is unmistakable. As the evolution of the ohm banjo has been an ongoing process for half a century, it is all too easy to overlook the fact that one man, Chuck Ogsbury, is the essential element to the ohm story. Born in Kentucky in 1937, Chuck Ogsbury became interested in playing the banjo after moving to Boulder, Colorado in 1956. Even though he was surrounded by regional music as a youngster, his banjo inspiration was found more in old-time frailing and classic five-string than in bluegrass. Regardless of the playing style, finding the ability to make his own music turned out to be a life-changing experience for Chuck Ogsbury. Additionally, having grown up intrigued by building with metal and wood, he found great fulfillment in finding old banjos and bringing them back to life. These combined passions set the stage for Chuck Ogsbury's future as a banjo designer and manufacturer. As an engineering student at Colorado University, Ogsbury designed and fabricated an experimental banjo body out of aluminum in 1959. Attaching a cane neck to the body, he was pleased with the results, and with his decision to manufacture 100 similar instruments, the Ode Banjo Company was born in 1960. Manufactured in a succession of small shops in the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, the Ode Banjo model line grew to include four, five, and six string variations, with construction appointments ranging from basic aluminum-bodied folk banjos to advanced wooden shell and full resonator, five-string, tenor, and plectrum instruments. In the six years during which Chuck Ogsbury operated the Ode Company, his small staff produced almost 1,900 instruments prior to his decision to retire from the banjo-making business, selling the Ode name to the Baldwin Corporation in 1966. After selling Ode, Chuck followed a wanderlust and traveled the country prior to returning to Boulder in 1968. While he felt he'd contributed all he could to the banjo world with Ode, a trend in folk music back to its acoustic roots found Ogsbury rethinking his potential as a banjo designer and builder. With a well-planned acquisition and tooling up of a property in the mountains west of Boulder, the Ohm Banjo Company was founded by Chuck Ogsbury in 1970. As he had done with Ode, Chuck Ogsbury attempted to operate the new Ohm Company with a simple mantra of quality above quantity. However, the partners he had brought in at the company's inception wanted Ohm to respond to the popularity of bluegrass music in the 1970s with greatly expanded production and distribution. As a result, Ogsbury became disillusioned and found himself a virtual silent partner in the company which he had founded. While Chuck returned to the operational aspects of Ohm in 1978, it was not until 10 years later that he acquired full ownership of the company and was able to again put Ohm on a path reflecting his personal goal of excellence and innovation in banjo design and manufacturing. Ogsbury's first move was a review of the design and manufacture of every item Ohm was producing. Constant improvement became the mode of operation as Chuck studied and evaluated the best of vintage as well as modern banjo designs, adapting and often improving them into workable elements of the Ohm banjo line. While great attention was paid to the high-end Renaissance and Grand Artist models, the company's rebirth also resulted in the Jubilee and Magician series of banjos, which incorporated the Ohm hallmarks of elegant design and quality production into more affordable instruments. Given the luxury of hindsight, Chuck Ogsbury looks back on his life and career and comments, I am, first and foremost, a designer and builder. That is what I really love to do. Building musical instruments is especially rewarding because of my love of music. Designing with sound adds another dimension that I have a special interest in, and the banjo in particular is such a wonderful instrument to work with. Banjo construction allows for so much potential, almost anything goes. I also love to explore and discover new possibilities. I never really liked following trends or copying others. At the same time, building acoustic instruments has much to do with tradition, which I'm also fond of. With Ohm, we have sought to combine vintage and modern ideas in original ways. 
The banjo has been a major part of my life. For me, it is a magical instrument that brings high energy, brilliance, and sparkle to anyone who experiences it. Yet, with all its pizzazz, the banjo is also a very grassroots instrument, which is somehow very close to nature, the mountains, and what I consider to be the good life. In 2010, Chuck Ogsbury celebrates 50 years as a banjo maker. During that time, he has been true to his music, sincere about his love for the banjo, and unwavering in his quest to produce the finest banjo which can be made.